graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. You know, I've reviewed a lot of bootleg games, but most of them are basically the same franchises. Mario, Sonic, Pokemon, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Contra, I mean come on, is there any other bootleg that isn't any of those franchises or any franchise that I grew up with? How about some variety for once? Well... <laughs> In all my years of doing bootleg shit, I would never expect to see a game like this. All the bootleg games I reviewed were based on classic franchises that are near and dear to my heart. And then suddenly, Angry Birds comes out of nowhere, like an RKO. This is the first time I've ever reviewed a bootleg game that postdates my bootleg shit series. The original Angry Birds was released on December 2009 for iOS. All the other versions would be released in the following years. When did bootleg shit debut? October 5th, 2007. Angry Birds wasn't even thought of when I started this series. This is undeniable proof that bootleg Famicom games are still being made till this very day. So enough rambling, let's get on with the review. This is Angry Birds for the Famicom, also known as quote unquote Angry Bird 3. Right off the bat, the title looks weird. Why does the A look like an H? Is this Angry Birds or Hungry <laughs> Birds? So anyway, here's what the game looks like. Honestly, I don't have much to say about it. It's pretty boring. Playing Angry Birds on the NES or the Famicom just doesn't feel right at all. Clearly, it was meant for more casual gaming platforms like mobile or Facebook. All the other bootleg games I reviewed in the past were shit, but at least they didn't put me to sleep. Hell, even Pokemon was less boring. Here are three other problems this game has. Number one, instead of using a touchscreen, obviously, you have to tap the D-pad up or down to get the right position to aim and shoot. Number two, the graphics. I mean seriously, I've seen far better looking NES and Famicom games, even during its early years. Hell, some of the bootlegs I played before look a hell of a lot better than this. And number three, the ear grating music. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I've heard better music in fucking Christmas cards at the 99 cent store than this shit. But my biggest issue with Angry Birds for the Famicom is this. They actually sold a Famicom cartridge of it. This is no fan-made game, people. This is an actual bootleg from the other side of the world. It was actually sold in stores. Why the hell would anyone buy this when it's free to download on mobile devices? At least on Android, anyway. Matter of fact, you could play it on, on fucking Facebook for free. Everybody has Facebook. There are many ways to play the original Angry Birds for free, and legally too. So collectors aside, what idiot in the world would actually buy a pirated version? Judging by the cartridge, it's from either China or Russia. Maybe they can't get it for free in their countries, but then again, they can just use a proxy and play it on Facebook for free. Or they can create an American Google Play account if it's not free in their country. Or maybe it's for people who don't have internet access. You know what, fuck it. The, the point is, the original is free, the bootleg is not. Uh, unless you count ROMs and shit. And guess what? This is the first episode of bootleg shit where I actually beat a game. Wanna see the ending? Yeah, what a fucking surprise. You know what? Let's just get on to the final verdict already. And now for the verdict. Now, it is unknown who actually developed this game, but allegedly Nice Code was the company that committed this crime. So with that being said, the jury has found Nice Code guilty until proven innocent. Because of this, I'm only going to give them a light punishment. I'll just 
throw them down the stairs. Like this. Or like this. You punish me still, motherfucker! <laughs>